Hey everybody, it's here from Gimiac.com. Here we are today back in Life is Strange Double Exposure going for patronizing the good kind. This is going to be to interact with everyone's projects in Chapter 2. It's going to be another collectible type. First one up is going to be done in Subchapter by the Horns. You're going to start out right here in the North Quad. We're going to head into the Fine Arts Building. So make sure you go straight and then into this door. Once you are at the intersection, we're going to hang a right into the actual building. There's going to be two projects we can interact with here. First one up is going to be right in front of us as we enter the building. It's going to be this two-sided phone booth right here. What you want to do is you want to make sure you interact with it. You're going to want to do the future side first, which is going to be the one that's going to be farthest away from you coming in. Make sure you look at it and then hit the A button to talk to the future. You're going to get this little option to leave a message. Just pick whatever you want. And once that's done, we're going to need to flip over to the other side. So make sure you go over to the pass side so you can hear from the pass. Just hit the A button to listen to this message. And once you have both sides done, that's going to be the collectible in a nutshell. All right, so while we are in the Fine Arts building, we are supposed to head to Gwen's office for some story stuff. We're just going to ignore that for now as we have collectibles to focus on. So turn your attention towards the right or towards the coffee shop if you're having trouble orienting yourself. You're going to head towards the tree by the stained glass windows area. There is going to be a tablet on the tree bench, which is going to be your next collectible. Make sure you hit the A button to listen to it. It's going to play Loretta's podcast. In order for this one to count for the achievement, you are going to have to listen to all three minutes of the podcast. It is going to be quite lengthy, so make sure you are super patient for this one or have something to do while this is going on in the background. That being said, there is going to be quite a significant pause in the podcast. Do not walk away from the tablet while this pause is going on thinking it's over. Make sure you sit through this pause and then the podcast is going to pick itself back up and then you're going to need to listen to this bit as well. The line you are going to want to look for, which signals the end of the podcast, is going to be this one. Max is basically just going to say the biggest untold true crime story of the century, and that's going to be your cue to finally walk away, because this collectible is finally ours. Project number three is going to be found in the subchapter, leaving nothing overlooked. We're going to start out right here at the bottom of the hill leading up to the overlook. We're going to need to switch world lines in order to get past the police officer. So make sure you hop back to the living world line, and that's going to allow us to get past the gate. Once you are past the gate, you are going to continue to make your way up to the overlook. You want to make sure you stay in the living world line until you come across this roadblock. This roadblock is going to actually be a collapsed art project. Make sure you hit the Y button to look at it, and that's going to give you the count for the achievement. Once you have that taken care of, feel free to switch back to the dead world line, and you should be able to pass through as this art project is going to be an archway in the other world line. So definitely make sure you do not come out of the living world line too early, as you are probably going to walk past this one accidentally. Fourth and final project is going to be done in subchapter Avoiding Detection. This is going to be when we're in the Astronomy Building. Once you are in control of your character, make sure you world leap over to the living world line. This is going to allow you to head into Moses's office. And then once you are in there, you're going to have some story parts. Make sure you get through that. And then once you are back in control of your character, you're going to want to be on the lookout for the next project, which happens to be in the other world line. So make sure you make the leap over. The portal is going to be right here in this back corner. So make sure you just hop on over. Once we are back in the dead world line, we're going to head over to the mural that's going to be directly in front of us. Make sure you try to take a snapshot, and then your character is basically going to want to try to get a better angle. Thankfully, there's going to be a staircase directly behind us that takes us up to the second floor. So make sure you head that way and try to look for the photo spot. It's going to be by the guardrail right behind the star projector. So it's going to be right over here. Make sure you stand in the circle, hit the B button to snap a snapshot. This one is also going to count as a collectible for the snapshots achievement as well, so make sure you do pocket this for that. But more importantly, it's going to be the last collectible for this particular achievement. There it is, this one's going to be for 15 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.